Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I have the worst headache. I think it's a sinus headache because it hurts right here. I have so much pressure. So I'm laying down on my pillow. Chris is so friendly. I swear, he can get along with anything or anyone. I admire that about him. The baby is moving so much right now. <laughs> it's funny how deep my stomach goes up and down when I breathe. Good breaths. Feels really good to breathe. What do you do when you start running out of shelf space? You add more shelves. Floating shelves! One, two, three. Three. I got three new floating shelves. I know. That means you're just going to get more stuff. Or more shelves. Are you coming to say hi to the baby, Pixie? You know, mommy doesn't feel good. You here to give her some loving? <laughs> oh, too much licking. No such thing, says Pixie. This troll on Google Plus last night said, F you. You are the worst piece of consumerist, consumptionist, pretentious, hollow, unproductive, capitalist, Parasite on the internet. So I copied that text and pasted it onto a mug and then purchased it. It should be arriving here within a few days. I'm trying to get Wicked to come here. Oh, he's coming. How'd you get him to go? I don't know. I've been trying and he's been avoiding me. It's because he knows I'm vlogging. He needs his screen time. <laughs> Nobody's even heard of that. What? What's on your shirt? Like who? Like everybody. Nobody. When I say everybody, it means one person. Like, I'm like, everybody thinks my voice is annoying. For the record, I don't think your voice is annoying. As annoying as mine, that is. I've always hated the sound of my voice. It's one of the reasons why I like doing audio processing sometimes, because I just cannot stand listening to myself. Right now I do, yeah. Are you stressed? Yeah, a little. I want to be mad about the sun being out, but it's just so nice. It is. I mean, not because the sun's out, but because it's cool outside, even with the sun out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Am I upside down? I have chicken skin. Did you ever eat the chicken skin? I put the lotion on. The <laughs> chicken skin. Goosebumps. Ooh, remember that book, Goosebumps? It used to scare me as a kid. And then the show came out. Books scare me. <laughs> Unless they have pictures. I like picture books. Oh, did you fart? No, I'm bringing fresh air into the car. Oh. <laughs> you want me to fart? No. Okay. You sure? Can you fart on demand? On demand, hang on. <laughs> no. How about I just open this package instead? Ooh! Now I have all the Nikto, or Niktos, and hardcover Darth Vader comic books? Oh, wow! We just passed the ice cream truck on the hill. It was parked. Yeah. Diana surprised it was so small. It was tiny. Yeah. I didn't even hear it singing, though, or playing music. Yeah. I could probably buy him out. Oh, you could. Why is it so little? There's not a high demand for ice cream right now. I bet the stories within will be picture perfect. Baby, you're not supposed to put these in the dishwasher. I mean, you can, it's just, they'll turn out like this. <laughs> they still work. Baby, I don't want to drink the water. I want bottled water. <laughs> it's not funny. Crap other than water is pouring out of there. I just don't want to drink it. I just feel weird with the floaties. Not the air bubbles. And the floaties. Like, floaties. Mm. Just drink a beer. <laughs> you have to drink something. I'm not gonna... I... No. 
Are you just going to dehydrate yourself? Yes, boiling the water is not going to help. You're just going to boil the floaties. No, I'm going to boil the bacteria away. The E. coli. There's no E. coli. That I know of. There better not be E. coli. <laughs> Oh no, now you're never going to drink water ever again. Why would I? <laughs> and don't remind me that you've been feeding this to me or drinking it to me. Wait, how, would, how do you, what do you, when someone brings you a liquid, what is that? Because you're not feeding them, but you're not really drinking them. When you bring me liquid that supposedly is water but has other stuff in it, now knowing that I had it, it's in me. The beer wouldn't be a bad option right now, but later we gotta scoot across town to meet up with an old friend, Seth. He's visiting and we'll be meeting face to face for the first time. A fellow entrepreneur. I think it's time <laughs> to change our filters. This is just egregious. Ew. Oh, it smells okay. I'm building up my tolerance. I'll be impervious to everything within five minutes. Remember this weekend we're doing that hangout with the Daily Bumps. They just vlogged about Vlogger Fair. I don't know if they knew that we are the people who are organizing it, but a lot of the vlogging community has no idea who the hell we are. Hey baby, you coming up? About to start streaming again. Right now I'm screaming. I like doing TLDR when you're in the room. It's much more fun. You make me happy when you're around. Aww, that's so sweet. I'm not being sweet to you, I'm just being myself. Oh, well, you over here tearing up a bit. I'm tearing up because you gave me carbonated water. <laughs> Seriously, it's carbon. Tell them it's carbonated. Oh, this is so Baby, sweet. Baby, now YouTube's gonna think I was crying. <laughs> I wasn't crying. They've seen me cry before. This is not crying. I'm ready to break a sweat. Are you a hot tamale? A bit. I'm gonna take this off as soon as I start streaming. Oh, I'm late. I gotta keep it on until I start. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Shh, shh. This. Do I have time to take a nap? Mm-hmm. Wake me in five minutes. Are you cold? No. Your nipple says you're cold. My nipples can't talk. <laughs> Where are you going? Gotta do my what would you do video. We're having so much fun. I know, but I gotta have fun on the internet now. I don't think it's helping, but thank you. <laughs> what would you set as your goals for the year? Not exactly a what would you do type of question, but it's going to be really a what I plan on doing kind of response. We've had some uh, rather large issues in relation to the way that we've created content in the past and the game's changed again. And we lost a lot of our search engine traffic and there's no hope for recovery. So we're losing a pretty big chunk of revenue. And it's uh, pretty painful, so I gotta figure out what I'm going to do. It's actually one of the reasons why the Patreon campaign is so important for us. In order to continue to do what it was that we were doing, the challenge is that there are more people who don't know who we are and what we do compared to those who do know. I've got some ideas on what I could do to adjust. I hired experts, paid them a lot of good money, and ultimately, they screwed me up. This is where traffic is right now. When I tell you that I can't sustain a business model around content based on ad revenue alone, this. And there's what happened to the traffic on chris.perillo.com, which I've been using to answer your questions. Sorry to be a downer right now. I just hate feeling like I'm wasting my time. I got an idea. I can launch my own YouTube channel. Oh, I appreciate it, little guy, but I've got some other ideas. Like, what if I double down and try to create a video production company? You know, helping people write scripts, find talent, do video editing. I think I've got enough of the resources together now to pull that off. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, I don't have anything to throw at you. Why would you throw something at him? <laughs> I mean, here you go. Go fetch. He's not much of a fetcher. I thought you wanted to play. No, that's not what I wanted. I really want to do something more than produce content for myself and for a great community. What? I don't yet really know. I look too dressy! You're a package deal now. Yeah, I think the baby's hungry. Are you talking about me? Because I am. Yeah. <laughs> Do you hear that noise outside? I think there's an owl. No, that, that was a car driving by. No, I mean, er, like five minutes ago. I wasn't listening. It wasn't a ghost. It's kind of like, ooh, like that. Could have been my stomach. <laughs> what if we did something around food? Interesting food, fun food, food hacks. That'd be kind of neat. Recipes for geeks? If I had to commute every day, our vlog would look a lot like this. Is it bright? Kind of. You need my sunglasses? Nah. You sure? Positive. I think you need them. No, nah, I don't need them. <laughs> Other ones? I'm good without any sunglasses, babe. I appreciate you trying to take care of me, but I'm stop good. It. Yeah, stop it. <laughs> I'm glad you said it because I didn't want to be rude. <laughs> Paid for parking and we are good until 6 a.m. Oh, wow. I don't know how well this is going to turn out, but our friend Seth has not yet arrived, but we went ahead and ordered some goat cheese fondue. At Nerd Enterprises, or Nerd Enterprises pretty much on any channel. Nerd Enterprises? Yeah. You had to be pretty early to get that one, I'm sure. I was, when I bought Nerd, NerdEnterprises.com, it was 2003, and I was shocked it was available. But I figured it was meant to be. So you sell nerds? I sell, I sell nerds. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have a no. suite of accounting services. QuickBooks and accounting software training, and most recently we launched SchoolofBookkeeping.com which is all about teaching people bookkeeping and the software that goes with it. Seth got me thinking about a few things. I gotta figure out if, if I'm going to be able to do what people want me to do. Identifying what people want me to do most is probably the hardest thing because sometimes people don't know what they want until you give it to them. I can tell you, people will tell you when they're not getting what they want, even though they can't necessarily tell you what they want. Thanks again for liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, watching even more of our videos right now after visiting a YouTube page of ours, clicking the gear icon next to a subscribe button to enable updates.